Notre Dame hangs on to beat Louisville. Let's go ahead and talk about this game and some of the others from the afternoon slate. Notre Dame came out hot in their first quarter and perfectly executed their first quarter plan, going up 21-7, and Louisville could just never quite recover. With a relatively weak schedule after this game, Notre Dame needed a really impressive victory against Louisville for their college football playoff hope, and they delivered. They beat the Cardinals, and they are off for the rest of the season. How about this, though? Despite all the injuries, OU hangs on to beat Auburn. Look at this average absolute fourth quarter blender right here by Auburn. Oklahoma is going to be going home feeling very happy, but man, Hugh Freeze and Peyton Thorne, it is not looking good inside Auburn right now. Wisconsin without Tyler Van Dyke actually looked relatively impressive against USC in the first half. Ultimately, the Trojans pulled through and got the victory. They did what they should, and USC is right back in the college football playoff race. Keep an eye on them for the Big Ten Championship. Last but not least, in a game that decided the Southwest at one point in time, Texas A&M beats Arkansas for like the 13th out of the 14th straight matchup. And Mike Elko is 4-1 to start the year with the Aggies. But I cannot wait to watch another Georgia versus Alabama game, so make sure to come back here after this game is over to catch my live instant reaction.